Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the board game Pandemic. But before we get into that, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. We just recently got to triple digits with over 100 subscribers, and that's awesome, and I want to thank you for doing that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that now so we can continue to grow the channel on our quest to get to 1,000 subscribers. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about our review here. We're going to be talking about Pandemic today. It's a cooperative disease-fighting board game that's meant for two to four players. So let's go ahead and start out by talking about the contents of the box. In this box, you will find one world map, one instructional manual, two decks of cards, one being the player deck and the other being the infection deck, four different colors to represent the four strands of the disease, six research station pawns, and seven player pawns, each one corresponding to the character roles using color. Let's go ahead and move on to the gameplay now. First, I want to remind you that this is a review and not a walkthrough video, so I'll only talk about the main mechanics of the game. So first of all, this is a cooperative game. It's uh, the players versus the game itself which is great if you enjoy working together rather than against one another. The goal of the game is to cure all four strands of the disease that, are, that is plaguing the world. You cure the disease by collecting cards of the same color and then cashing them in at a research center to make the cure. The objective of the game, of course, is to cure all four diseases, not necessarily eradicate the world of any disease cubes. But, while you're searching for the cure to each disease, you also have to prevent outbreaks and keep the world as stable as possible before finding the cure. The game has a high replay value, character roles are assigned rather than picked out, the beginning of the board state can be random based on the cards that you pull, and even the difficulty can be adjusted to an introductory, medium, or difficult uh, difficulty setting. With all this randomization, that means that no two playthroughs are exactly the same, which I think is a good thing when you are trying to find board games to play and you want that feeling of being able to play the same games over and over again instead of having to go out and buy something brand new to get a new experience. So, moving on to my rating now, I would rate this game a 5 out of 5. I really like the cooperative games, and I think that Pandemic really embodies the teamwork spirit. There is no way you can win on your own in this game. You have to work together to win. The game is also rather challenging because there are three different ways to lose, but there's only one way to win. For example, when we were playing the game, we were one turn away from actually losing the game, and that was on the introductory level, or the easy mode if you want to call it that. Not because of the disease running rampant did we almost lose, no, or outbreaks emerging everywhere, nope, that wasn't it either. We nearly lost because we almost ran out of cards in the player deck, meaning that we took too long to uh, finish the game, and therefore nearly lost and was one turn away from losing there. So if you like a challenge and you don't mind working with other people, then this might be the board game for you. So you can find this game on Amazon and many other different websites. It's a very popular game. And while you're going and getting your copy for that, if you found this video to be helpful to you, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like the video. That way we can reach more people and we can get this channel growing. As always, thank you for watching.